In this video, we're gonna be exploring how does stress affect your energy levels, particularly in the context of fatigue-related conditions such as ME, chronic fatigue, fibromyalgia, Lyme disease, long COVID, and so on. So firstly, let's define what we mean by stress. So when I'm talking about stress, what I mean is demands being placed upon us physically, mentally, and or emotionally, which exceed our supply of energy to meet those demands. That's an important distinction because as energy levels are lower, people will sometimes say, well, how can I be stressed? Because the demands of my external life are significantly less than they were, let's say, 12 months ago. But it's important to recognize that if our supply of energy is also less, we could have less demand, but still there be an imbalance and therefore we can feel stressed. Secondly, let's think about stress as being external stresses, like demands upon us and internal stresses. This distinction of internal stresses is important because sometimes it is that internally there's a lot of stress that's happening, and other times, it's also our perception of what's happening around us that's increasing our stress levels. Stress is not only things that are actually happening, it's things that we may be imagining happening or worrying about happening, anticipating happening, and so on. So often when we're talking about stress, we're actually talking about what we call a maladaptive stress response a healthy response to danger and threat, which has become normalized to a dysregulated, unhealthy state. Now we've defined what we mean by stress. How does this impact upon our energy levels? So actually stress is impacting both in a causal way towards fatigue, as a way that blocks our healing, and also in a way that can risk relapse on the other side of recovery. So to break that down a little bit more, from a causal perspective, if we are living a life where the demands placed upon us are consistently higher than the resource that we have available to meet those demands, we're stressed. So like having a bank account, where every day there's more money going out of the account than there is coming into the account. So that means at the end of the week, at the end of the month, that account is going further into deficit. Then there's a point where the overdraft hits the limit and then well, I guess we're bankrupt. But in terms of how we feel physically, we have run out of energy. Now, this next point is very important. This is rarely the only cause of complex fatigue conditions. They are conditions that affect multiple systems with multiple stages, multiple causes. So I am not reducing all fatigue conditions down to just being caused by stress. I'm saying that stress is often an important piece in that wider jigsaw. And just to say, if you'll find this video helpful, do subscribe to the Optimum Health Clinic here on YouTube, click the notification bell, and YouTube will let you know as new videos are released. We typically release a new video here every week. Let's now look at how being in a state of stress impacts our ability to recover. How does it block healing? A colleague once said to me many years ago, that often when it comes to understanding complex chronic illnesses, people can be asking the wrong question. The question they're asking is, what's caused me to be ill? But the cause may be five, 10, 20 years ago, or the cause is. The really important question is what's stopping my body from healing? The physical, and also it's true of our emotional body, has a natural capacity to heal. We break a bone, as long as we set the bone, there's no drug or medicine we take that makes it heal. It naturally heals. Same is true if we cut our skin, it naturally heals. When that's not happening, it's because something is in the way of that. The maladaptive stress response, that state of dysregulation, has a major impact upon our body's ability to heal because all of our energy and resources are going into sustaining the stress response 
they're not then being used to heal. And then finally, being in an ongoing state of stress, let's say we've recovered, we're back to normal life, but once again, we're in a really stressful situation and it's ongoing and the demands upon us are once again higher than our supply of energy. When people have relapses after recovering from fatigue-related conditions, this is often one of the primary reasons why. It's why an important part of the healing journey is not just the healing of one's physical body, but it's the designing of one's life in a way that's going to support optimum health and optimum vitality. So how do we reset your nervous system? How do we deal with all of these stresses? I recorded a video recently here on the Optimum Health Clinic YouTube channel that talks about the five stages of resetting your nervous system. So click the link on the screen to watch that video. And if you want to learn more about how to not just understand the impact of stress in fatigue-related conditions, but also the wider causes and to be able to map a pathway towards healing, do check out my book, Decode Your Fatigue. Decode Your Fatigue gives you the map to not just decode your fatigue, the causes, the variables that have impacted your body into being ill, but also the roadmap to help you to recover. And do let me know in the comments below this video, was this video helpful? How have you seen stress impacting your fatigue journey? And I look forward to talking with you in our next video very soon.